do you ever have a situation as a, you know, as an executive where you fuck with an artist, but because of neighborhood lines of where you grow up, you grew up and where they're from and what you were affiliated with and what they're affiliated with, does that stop the process sometimes? Of course. <laughs> like, yeah. if they from, if they from another neighborhood that, that my neighborhood don't fuck with, I don't fuck with them. <laughs> really? Even though it's a good business decision? I don't care about it, but I, I don't want to get no money with them. I, I can't fuck with them. It's that serious, huh? Yeah. That's how LA used to be. Yeah. Crips and Bloods used to never mix with each other. You know, you can work with DJ Quick if you were from this neighborhood or whatever yeah, else. Sure. But in 2021, that shit really doesn't matter. Yeah, in LA, I'd be seeing that. Yeah. But... N- Nipsey and YG were close. Yeah. They have hit songs together. But I don't know if they neighborhoods was direct, like beef. Yeah, but still, the Crip Blood thing is still uh, okay. a ubiquitous thing to a certain degree. At least it was, I mean, back then it was in the 80s. In 2021, not so much. People got people got over it. Yeah. People saw that, okay, this is stopping everyone's money. Yeah. This is causing unnecessary See, problems. Look, that's the difference, Vlad, between Chicago and LA. LA, they be getting money out here and they, they care about money out here. They get money, so they're gonna put money over the Chicago. No. No. Like <laughs> niggas, no. Like they ain't, they ain't, people don't really care that much about money in Chicago. They just want to kill. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. I mean the way FPG Duck got got shot down in broad daylight on yeah. the Rodeo Drive of, of sure. Chicago with a thousand witnesses and they cameras, kill you and they still haven't found who did it. I interviewed his mother. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, no, I didn't see. I seen some clips of it. I didn't see it. Yo, man, she was crying. Yeah. She lost three of her children. Two to gun violence. Yeah. And then she had a three-year-old daughter who died in a fire. Yeah. Um, you know, and now after that interview, like 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 the mothers, like like uh Tuka's mom, oh, yeah, you seen know, that. and uh I think Pappy's mom, like yeah. maybe not Pappy's. I think I seen sure. that on Instagram. Yeah, they're now getting together and doing stuff together and you know, people are like, Why you interview his mom? And I'm like, People need to see this. Yeah. People need to see what happens after the the clout chasing is over and the internet fans have gone on to something else. You have someone's mother who has to deal with this every day for the rest of her life. I mean, but they they already be knowing like yeah. this. They, you know, my mama knows this shit can happen to me any day. You know, you know what's going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 